see here we have a chip in the paint this is actually right by the door going into the back because something had hit it here and then there's a scratch going up so we're going to concentrate on touching this up all right you can see for this this is what we're using that's a touch-up i mean i had to go to the actual subaru dealer to get this so you might be able to find some online but i could not find the actual red crimson color to match what we already have make sure to read all applicable directions and everything this one has everything on the box and you can see it actually has little arrows that fall around to tell you exactly what each portion of this does all right so the first thing we're going to do is actually go through with a little brush here and get all this cleaned up this is actually an abrasive tip so that way it gets rid of any rust or anything else that may have gotten in there since this was done so we're going to do that get that all cleaned up nice and now i'm going to get an alcohol wipe all right get that all cleaned up so now we're going to get the alcohol wipe in here to get any residue cleaned up from around this Right, and then I have basically a lint-free microfiber cloth to clean that off because you don't want any residue left on here. So rubbing alcohol would work also, but I have these isopropyl alcohol pads, so that's what we use for this. All right, next we're gonna get the little touch-up tool and start some paint application. Now on these pens, they do have different things. So you do have like an actual pen point here, or you can actually twist this off and underneath here is the brush. All right, now we're gonna to try to do this very gently. A little bit of touch up here, just to kind of mark it. And have your rag around so if you need to, Anything extra can be wiped. Uh, I wasn't happy with that, so we're just going to wipe that off and start over here. All right, and make sure you shake your pen up good, too. All right, we'll try this again. that dry for a couple minutes and the reason you want to let this dry is in your applicator at this bottom part at this bottom part down here there's actually what they call top coating which would essentially be like a little bit of clear coat to go over top that to help protect it so we're going to let this dry for a little bit and we'll be back and now is a good time while we're waiting for this to dry go ahead and Check other things out, like, you know, pull the spare out of the thing and check to see the air pressure. Make sure everything's still good on it. All right, we wait about an hour now, so we're gonna wipe, and you can see nothing is coming off. So we are dry. Now is gonna be the next step, where we gotta actually put this bottom part on. All right, so we got this screwed in here and loose. So now we pull this out, and you can see the tip. This is for the applicator for the top coat, is what they call it. All right, and this could have probably been done a little bit better by a professional, but I think it's gonna come out pretty good. Because if you look at it from here, you're zoomed in really far but if you come back at a distance and look at it you can't even tell so this is more for protecting so that way we don't end up getting a rust spot here but that's it now we've got to let it dry before we take it out in the road and clean her up and now as long as you've uh, cleaned everything up right you can actually save this for a later date in case you need to touch up anything else like any more Door dings like that.